Hmm. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, hmm. How are you? How is your faith right now? I'm calling you into the space right now. And I'm asking you to come into, into the space with the intention to remember your faith, to remember your freedom, to remember who you are. I really, really commit to spending the next however long we get to spend together calling in your attention, your energy to the truth of what you are, to the truth of what you are, to the truth of your power. To the truth, to the truth, to the truth, to the truth. Breathe in and call in all your intention right now to the truth. Breathe in again and breathe out. <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> call in all of your attention to the truth. Breathe in. Breathe in and into the truth, <sighs> in this moment, in this body. <sighs> Nothing I say matters. The only thing that matters is your experience of the truth right now, in this moment, right now. In this moment, right now. We have to start there. We have to start there. The truth is the only thing, the only thing, the only thing. That creates a space for you, a true you, to expand, to stand up, to reveal yourself to embody your purpose and to really know and love and experience and use your power. Use your power. Wield your power, your sword of light in this world, in this lifetime. <clears throat> as who you really are, as who you really are, as who you really are in this moment right now. Hmm. Hmm. I want you to breathe into your body. Breathe into your body. Mm. Breathe into your body. Breathe into your body. Breathe into your body. Mm. Breathe into your body. Feel into the truth right now of your heart. Feel into the truth of your heart. We're going to take six deep breaths into your body and we're going to actually <laughs> liberate, liberate, liberate whatever power you have been repressing, whatever power you have been scared to experience, whatever power you have been feeling And being asked to reveal it right now is your purpose. Being asked to reveal it right now is your purpose. 
is your purpose. How are you living your purpose right now? It is directly linked. It is directly linked to how devoted you are to the truth in your heart right now. So, ha. I'm going to take six deep breaths. Six deep breaths. One, two, three. Breathe into your womb. And exhale. And feel your whole body grounded, present, active, alive, connected to something greater than yourself inside of you and outside of you in this moment you're coming alive you're coming awake you're becoming embodied in your power right now remember calling in all of your attention breathe into your womb hold that breath feel your body grounded and supported and alive and breathe out <sighs> And again, breathe into your solar plexus. <laughs> this is your power center. Feel your solar plexus open to this world to receive and to reveal your power. And exhale. <sighs> Shake it out. And breathe into your heart. Feel your heart open. Open and rooted in your solar plexus, rooted in your womb, rooted in the earth, open to the sky. Fully, fully committed to the truth. Fully devoted to your purpose. Fully tethered to your power. Feel your heart come online. And exhale. One, two, three. Breathe into your throat. And feel that derubbling, ah, derubbling, opening the central channel to experience whatever you're here to speak as your truth, whatever you're here to reveal as your truth, whatever you're here to give as your truth in your throat. And exhale with a sound. Ha! Ah. You just let go of any rubble, any fear, any resistance, any little self in the way of your truth, in the way of your power, in the way of your purpose. One more deep breath into your third eye, right here, your pineal gland, into your divine imagination. Breathe in. And whatever image you have of yourself embodied in your power, just feel her, feel him, feel that one fully embodied in your power. Come online, come alive, feel her come into your body. Reveal her truth to yourself. See her, feel her, trust her. And exhale, let her go. <sighs> She's never left. She's always here. She's always here. From this space right here. Let me talk to you about power. Let me talk to you about your power. Let me talk to you about why you're afraid of it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you who you are. Your power. Your power your power is the unique strand of light that only you get to shine on all of the shadows all of the shadows all of the darkness all of the fear all of the fear that you in this moment feel so deeply hurt by, that you in this moment feel so deeply held back by, that you in this moment feel 
the pain of in your heart. That shadow, that fear, that dissociation, that, that which makes you feel afraid of yourself. That is what you get to shine a light on. <laughs> that is what you get to heal. That is what you get to heal in others. That is what you get to heal in the collective. That is what you get to heal in the world. That is what you get to honor by witnessing that you are not that. You have never been that. You have never been your resistance. You have never been your fear. You have never been your lack. You have never been every single idea you have right now of who you are. You have never been any of the ideas you have about who you are, no matter how incredible they are, no matter how terrible they are. You have never been any of your ideas. You are that you are that which witnesses all of your ideas. You are that which creates all of your ideas. You are that which chooses which idea you get to embody so that you can truly, fully, wholly embody whatever purpose your soul came here to live. That is you creating your love story with yourself. That is you finally knowing that your only job in this world is to devote yourself to falling madly, outrageously, outrageously in love with that within yourself that you are so terrified of. Because you know that in learning what that is, in allowing that to move you into this life, in allowing that to activate your energy, in allowing that to move you to create a purpose that only you can, that is completely removed from anyone else's idea or plan or strategy, including your own ideas of yourself. You know in recognizing the truth of who you are, you know in embodying that which is only yours to discover, you know that in activating that divine potential within your DNA, you must die to every part of you that believes she is not that. You must die to every idea of you that is telling you that you are not that. You must sacrifice every single part of your life that keeps fueling whatever idea you have that is telling you that you are powerless, that power is bad. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you to be that great, to be that beautiful, to be that worthy of love? Who are you to heal? Who are you to heal? Who are you if you were healed? Who do you get to be in this moment if you knew you were healed already? Who do you get to be in this body right now if you knew? If you knew that your power is divine that your power can only heal, that the only thing your power can destroy is lies. The only part of this world that will die because of your power, the only part of your life that will die because you get to say yes to your power is the lie that you are so scared to let go of because you don't know who you are without it. 
the reason you are so afraid of your power, it's because you do not know who you are embodied in your power. You are not separate from your power. You, you, the real you, the true you, the you that loves, the you that is here, that is breathing right now, that is listening to me, that is vibrating at a higher frequency with every second that's passing, that is coming online, that is seeing the shadows come, that is choosing to hear the truth right now in your heart, in your heart. The real you is your power. You are the power. You don't have it. You don't get to find it. You don't get to learn about it. You don't get to check a mark off that you finally received it from somewhere else. You are your power. You are that which creates every single moment of your life. You are that. You are that which you are most afraid of. You are that which is fully healed. You are that who is here to fall in love with herself by creating a story that you're not healed and then becoming the one who heals so that in that divine dance, in that sacred union of polarity, of darkness and shadow and light and sunlight, of all of it, of the masculine, of the feminine, of the masculine and the feminine dancing together, healing one another, making love in every moment, so that in all of that, you get the story that you came here to live. You finally get the love story that you come here to live. It's not any story. It's a love story. It's a love story that you get to experience. You don't get to learn about it. You don't get to think about it. You get to know it in your bones. And then you get to reveal it by stepping into a space within you, within you, your inner temple. Your inner temple. The arms of your beloved within you, holding your intention to live on purpose to live in integrity, to live embodied in your power, to feel joy, to feel pleasure, to feel your power activate the divine in every single part of your life so that you can be the healing this world is asking you to finally be. You have always been that, but you have, you have been asleep to it. You have resisted it. You've run away from it. You've created stories as to how you don't deserve to be it. Because in allowing that truth and only that truth to fuel who you think you are, you must destroy, you must burn, you must die to every single story that keeps distracting you that keeps alluring your attention, that keeps lying to you about what you're here to do and be, who you really are, who you really are in this moment, who you really are in this moment is power, is power. It is the same power that created your life. Big Bang. darted into nothingness and everythingness. You are that. You are everything and you are nothing. And within that, there is the you that gets to live in this body and tell a love story that only you can tell in your unique way, with your voice. Nothing is a mistake. Nothing is random. The divine does not make mistakes. The divine is you can describe it any way you want. You can explain it any way you want. You can call it whatever you want. God, universe, the highest self of all, that which is consciousness and love, whatever you want. Your truth contributes to the truth of this universe. 
but it's not separate from it. Your life is the life of this world. Your joy is the joy of this world. Your pleasure is the pleasure of this world. Your love, your love, your devotion to embodying your love is is the love you perceive and allow yourself to receive. In this world, world you live in, your world, your world, your world is not your reality. Your reality has nothing to do with the truth. You get to create your reality in every single moment. So in this moment, how about you choose to create this next slice of your reality in this lifetime, in this human form, between life and death, between darkness and shadows, between everything you are and everything you're not. What if you, in this moment, make the intention to create a reality that is birthed from your power? What is your power asking you to create? The power that is coming through your heart. Your ego has no power. It has force. It has a deep, deep, deep yearning for control, manipulation, and dominance. That is not power. We live in the world that skewed what power actually means. So I'm asking you to redefine it, clean the word from all of these connotations, all of the ideologies, all of the things you see outside of you that tell you what power is and is not. Come into the truth of your heart and ask yourself, what is my power? What is my power? What is it? And I promise you, it is you. It is not separate from you. It is that which is you. Is your devotion to your love of what you really are. Power is your responsibility to reveal what you really are and act from that place of deep, 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 radical, outrageous, uncomfortable truth of what this world is asking of you in service of love. In service of love. And it starts with you. It starts with you because your world is you and your reality is created from that place so come into this place come of what power actually feels like in yourself and i will guide you through the three steps that i'm going to share that will help you evoke your power and know that it is true and know that it is in the highest service of yourself and everyone else and know that it is inseparable from you, who you really are. As you become more and more and more tethered to that which created you. Your power is empowering to the truth of others. Your power is liberating to the love that's held within the shadows of everyone around you in this universe. Your power is that which cuts through the bullshit and cracks open your heart to witness how much you can love and how from that love you can remember the peace that joy 
the ease, the purpose. of letting love live you, of letting love live you, of letting love live your body, letting love open your heart, letting love open your womb, letting love connect your voice and your heart and your womb to that which is everywhere around you, always conspiring to bring out the best in you so that you can bring out the best in everyone else, so that you can feel on purpose, so that you can feel your power heal in every single moment of your life, every single moment of your life, every breath <sighs> is healing, every move is healing, every feeling is healing. Every thought is healing. Every belief is healing. Because in every single breath, move, feeling, thought, and belief, you remember what you are and you evoke that gnosis in every single person around you and that is what healing is remembering our wholeness remembering we were always whole and then using that knowing using that wisdom that gnosis using that power with the intention to liberate more love in the way that you are meant to in the only way you can in the only way that this world needs you to do this this is work this is devotion this is sacred this depends on you and your willingness to say yes to your power to your devotion. To your truth. To your reverence. To that which will fuel you with sacred desire. With sacred energy. With sacred attention. Huh with a sacred vision that is only yours and only you get to experience it and only you get to fulfill it. And you will only know what it is when it is time, but you will only truly, fully trust it, devote yourself to doing it, to activating it, to embodying it, to living it, to bringing it forth. If you start here and now saying yes to the power held within you, your body, it's an experience that you must devote yourself to every single day. So here are the three steps. Are you ready? <laughs> I love you. That's the first part. <laughs> I love you. Now breathe into your body. Breathe into whatever part of your body that needs you the most. Ah, for me, it's my heart. Just opening my heart. Feel yourself grounded. Close your eyes, if they're not closed already, and ask yourself, how does my power feel in my body right now? And just feel it. Does my power feel in my body right now? How does your power feel in your body right now? Now, feel it. Just stay there. Breathe into that space again. How does your power feel in your body right now? What is its quality? 
Has it never been there? <laughs> Has it ever left you? Is it separate from you? Does it not love you? Does it not know everything you need to know? Has it ever left you alone? How does that power feel in your body right now? Breathe into that space again. <gasps> hold, hold, hold. Feel this power in this moment that you're holding your breath. Feel it inside of you. Feel it inside of you. And now exhale it outside of you. <sighs> and witness it in front of your eyes, suspended. Just feel it suspended in front of you. It's still part of you, but you can witness it in any moment. Maybe it's an orb of light. Maybe it's a thin veil of the divine in front of you, helping you see truth at everything, everywhere you look. This is not a veil that obstructs your true vision. This is a veil that brings you into right relationship with your true vision. This is the veil from the illusion of what you're not. This is a veil that brings you into the awareness, into the state of consciousness where you see truth. This is the veil that I'm asking you in this moment to honor. So that was step, step one, breathe in and ask, how does my power feel within me? Just feel it, see it within you, own it within you. Step two, breathe it out. How does my power look in front of me? What, what is it asking of me in this moment? That's step three. First step is to feel it inside of you. Second step is to see it in front of you. Because it is everything. It is everything. In invoking your power from within, you are invoking your power from without, and you are evoking everything that this world needs to show you so that you can act from your true power. You evoke the invitation to liberate more love. You evoke the invitation to step up and discover more of your truth in what you're doing. You evoke the experience that will help you become even more free to embody your purpose. You evoke the relationship that will mirror your divinity back to you, as well as your shadows, so that you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into this of learning how to love every day. That's what you're here for. So the three steps... Breathing into your body wherever your power is most needed and feel your power. Step two, exhale and see it in front of you. Just see it. See it with your third eye. See it with your heart. See it with your womb. See yourself connected to it. See it connected to the world. Whatever it is for you, you can see it. It's your sacred symbol of your inner power materializing for your human self to see. And step three, ask it. What are you needing me to do right now? What are you asking me to do right now? Talk to the divine power within you that is you, that, that is all around you, that is always in you, 
that is always holding you, that is always asking you to listen so that it can lead you in your highest good and the highest good of everyone. Talk to it. We spend so much time talking to our shadows and talking to our shadows is important when you're doing the therapeutic work of cracking them open to see your light. And I want you to spend 10% in your shadows and 90% talking to your light. And here is one way to do it. Devote yourself to feeling, studying, see, listening, talking to, hearing your power, your true power. Remember who you are and ask yourself, Are you ready? To live a love story that only you can live. Are you ready to talk about this love you feel to the world? Are you ready? to devote yourself to the sacred practice of remembering your power, of embodying your power, of intending to call in all of you so that you can live your power in the service of your unique purpose, whatever purpose purpose that is, so that you can remind the world of the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters. And the only thing that matters to you, to me, to every single soul on this planet is to know that we are loved, that you are loved, and that you can love in a way that is so outrageous, so boundless, so infinite. And he will take your breath away. Because in that, you will finally know what your purpose is. And you will feel that you are actually living it. that your life really matters, that you are really making a difference in this world, in this world, that you're not here to escape it, that you're not here to reject it, that you're not here to manipulate it, to control it, to dominate it, that you are here to empower it by remembering that you are the divine power moving through you. And no to everything. Only after you say yes to that, yes to life, yes to love, yes to your true power, moving you, living you, in the service of love, in every part of your life. Every part of your life is a sacred container for you to practice that, for you to witness its miracle working through you on your relationships, in your job, in every single thing you do. So that you know
Hey, you've always been that. And now you remember it. And what a joy it is. To know that every single part of your story happens so that you remember it now. It, the divine, living you in the service of love. So that you can remember that you are it. So that you can see yourself clearly as it. So that you can see everything around you as that divine power that created you. That is the only purpose. Love story about yourself Tell today. Talk to your power. Ask it. And you know the you know you know what that is already. I love you. I see you. I trust in your power. I need your power. The world needs your power. God needs your power. We depend on you remembering what you are and seeing at it. Loving it and doing something about it. <sighs> I believe in you, and I am so grateful that you chose in this moment to upgrade your system, to allow yourself to receive <laughs> whatever you needed to receive so that you can remember. what you are and know that it is all you need and it is perfect whole purposeful how <sighs> divinely aligned Do the practice, do the work. You are so deeply held. I'll talk to you later. And I would love to know, how does your power ask you to live, move, think today. What is one thing you can do as your divine power? Just ask, contemplate this question and live it into existence. The question will lead you to freedom.
and it is a lot more important than whatever answer. <laughs> you want to get. Bless you. Hmm. I love you. I'll speak to you later. <laughs>